My 26F fiance, 27M, just said I'm replaceable. I met my now fiance two years ago and have been engaged for a year. Compared to my last boyfriend, who was abusive verbally and physically, he is generally a breed of fresh air. He's supportive and is very loving. He's the first person who ever truly loved me. My parents were abusive too. Over the past few months though, we start to argue more. He wanted me to quit my job once we have kids so I can homeschool them. I'm not ready for kids and would want any future kids to be going to school. He got more upset with each argument saying that I'm depriving him of kids. I finally suggested that maybe we should take a week from each other to cool off. He just said that I can easily be replaced at any time and that I'm not special. I feel really hurt right now. How do I get him to fix the issue and be apologetic for what he said? Edit. Since the mods love to hide my comments, I'll update in that I read your comments. The issue is that he was amazing before and that's the real him I saw. He did seem to be depressed from work lately and I want him to get back to the old good self. It's not a case where he's abusive as he wouldn't hit me. He did apologize for the replaceable comment. He told you how he feels. Believe him and move on. You can't change someone's fundamental views. Compared to my last boyfriend, who was abusive verbally and physically, he is generally a breed of fresh air. There's your problem. Just because he isn't as abusive doesn't mean he's a good partner. Replace him. You're replaceable okay replace you. It's not like you're losing anything valuable if he doesn't value you. God find someone you're special to not hitting you. Physically or verbally. Is a low bar. You have different outlooks on life and are not compatible besides him being mean. Location flag location flag location flag don't. He spoke his mind. He showed you his truth. And for him it's that he does not value you. Nobody you want to spend the rest of your life with should be replaceable. And the fact that he thinks that way is honestly a huge red flag not just for your relationship but for him as a person. You deserve better. I'm so sorry. But your normal meter is broken and you've just fallen into another kind of abusive dynamic. Until you get therapy, you're not going to be equipped to figure out what a healthy relationship looks like. This is not a person you should marry. Please be safe. If you can't access therapy, I really recommend that you look into resources at loveisrespect.org and read Lundy Bancroft's book. Why does he do that? which is available online for free as a PDF. You most likely don't change his mind and make him apologize. And this and the many arguments over the last few months are huge red flags. Yeah, this one's turning out to be abusive as well. Please don't marry him. He's replaceable too. I know this isn't what you want to hear. But I'm genuinely worried that this relationship is also heading down an abusive pathway. It's not just calling you replaceable. Though that on its own is concerning enough. The fact he wants to force you into a permanent stay-at-home role raises flags for establishing financial control over you. It's also incredibly manipulative and downright false for him to claim that refusing to homeschool children is the same as refusing him children because your last partner was so extreme in his abuse. Your threshold for detecting unacceptable behavior in a relationship has been artificially heightened, meaning that anything that is not as bad as your ex's worst is tolerable to you. This is why many people go on to experience multiple abusive relationships in their lifetime. The combination of low self-esteem and a high threshold for tolerating disrespectful behavior means that people who have been abused previously will often miss the signs that people without that history will run a mile from. I can guarantee the very first time your ex put you down like this, 
you would have been as shocked and as heartbroken as you are now. But over time as his behavior escalated, the put-downs would wash over you because at least he wasn't physically hurting you. No one starts out by beating you up on the first date. Otherwise you wouldn't stay. Don't compare your current partner's behavior to your ex's worst behavior. Compare it to how your ex's abuse started. Do you know much about the dynamics and patterns of abusive relationships? I'd be very happy to share some resources. Worst case scenario. You read them and feel vindicated in your current perception of the relationship and you can come back to them whenever you need to do a gut check. Also, for what it's worth, even if a relationship isn't abusive, it doesn't necessarily mean it's good, healthy, or worth staying in. Better than your previous boyfriend is a low bar. Because this guy is garbage. Toss him in the dumpster. You've moved from one abusive relationship to another one. Only this guy sounds emotionally abusive. He wants you to have kids you're not ready for and guilty you over it. Expects you to give up your career regardless of whether you actually want to. And tells you you're replaceable. Come on. Op. This guy isn't anything new. He's just a different type of asshole than your ex. How do I get him to fix the issue and be apologetic for what he said? Do you want a relationship where you have to coach the other person on what to say when they say something hurtful or make a mistake? You can't just trust them to apologize and make it right of their own accord? Victims of abuse tend to go on to more abusive relationships because on a subconscious level that's what they are familiar with. You're no exception. It's not a coincidence that he waited until you were engaged and emotionally invested to tell you what you must do for him. Regardless of how you might feel about it, read the signs for what they are instead of trying to paint over them. I'd tell him to go ahead and replace me. He flat out told you he'd be fine with replacing you and you're not special. You should not marry someone you're not special to. Unless you go to therapy and work out the damage made by your parents. You will always seek out abusive partners because that's how human nature works. Your ex was abusive. This current BF is abusive. The next one will be too etc. Put a stop to this now and choose yourself. Compared to my last boyfriend. Well, that's just it. Maybe compared to an abuser as extreme as your ex and your parents this guy doesn't seem that bad. But he is. He is controlling. He is now entering the realm of outright verbal and emotional abuse. And yes, that isn't as bad as what you experienced. But I suspect what you experienced warped your sense of what is good or healthy. Or perhaps you are so afraid of acknowledging, it is happening again you refuse to see it for what? It is. Just be careful. I get this is a breath of fresh air, but if you were living in smog then only mild pollution is. Still a step up. Doesn't make it healthy or the right place to stay though. He is not the supporting or loving person you hoped. It is clear he has visions of what you should be doing that you don't agree with in his first. Instinct is to be cruel. Replace him. Dump him and look for an upgrade. You know how when you first go to the zoo it stank. But after you've been at the zoo for a while you don't notice the stank? This don't stank if you grew up at the zoo. For those of us who didn't. This stank. This stank bad. Read the red flags and run. Sis. Girl. Run. He is not compatible for you. He wants weird homeschool kids that you get to do all the work on. I promise he will do absolutely nothing around the house either. You might as well end this. You don't. He showed you openly who he is. Now you have to believe him. Get out. Before you become entangled in another abusive relationship. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. 
Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.